Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is provided by RW Prime, good times, great steaks. Best Market, your neighborhood's first choice. Riverhead Bay Motors, specializing in Subaru and Volkswagen. Shallon Self-Defense Center, classes for men, women, and children, kick with the best. Fire News, serving heroes since 1973. Gentle Dental, located in Eastport, New York. Rene Dumang, fine jewelry located in East Islip, New York. DiCarlo Food Service, servicing the food industry since 1963, located in Farmingville, New York. And FirefightersFashions.com, the swag of firefighters apparel. We got a very, very cool show today. We are here at Friends of Firefighters in Red Hook, Brooklyn, and we are cooking with firefighter John Fuchs from Ladder 101. Ray, how are you? How are you doing, John? Now, I had the pleasure of bumping into John. I was at Peter McManus, a bar in, uh, of course, I was at a bar. I was in uh, Manhattan, 19th Street, and I see this firefighter shirt, all this bartender. He's very animated. He's going around. The place was packed. And I make my way through the crowd, and I go, hey, you're FDNY, and I look at him, and he says... And I'm like, is that the fire, are you the firehouse cooking guy? And I was like, yes, I am, I'm Firefighter Ray. And we started talking, and I'm working something with Firehouse Kitchen with um, friends of firefighters here in Red Hook, and he's stationed right at the block. Right at the block? And he's very involved here, and I said, you gotta come on my show. And he said, no problem, I'll definitely come on. And here we are. Yes, here Any are. anything for the fire department and friends of firefighters. They do so much for the, for the brothers. Very nice. John, what are we making on this episode of Firehouse Kitchen? All right, today we're going to do a linguine and clams. Uh, pretty simple dish. But in the firehouse, I kind of like to keep dishes simple because you never know when you got to go. So the simpler, the better. And uh, linguine and clams is that dish. And I know the guys really like it because it's not heavy on the pockets. If we can get a lot of food for like, this is probably $4 a man, right? $5 a man meal? Yeah, a little higher than that, I'd say $7 to $8. Seven, oh man, that would, we'd freak out in Jamaica. <laughs> Maybe here at, uh, you know, in Red Hook, that's okay. But uh, all right, how do we start? Okay, uh, first thing we do with the clams, this is big, is soak the clams in some cold water, cold salted water with a little flour. Uh, not sure if this is uh, wives' tail or, uh, but it, or not, but it is tradition in our firehouse, is the way we do it. Uh, salt water and ice is supposed to clean out the salt, the sand that the clams have. See? So is that what the flour does? The flour, the flour uh, is supposed to imitate a sandy environment and like, yeah. kind of like where they are. So you got to get them all covered in there, a little more ice and cold water, cold salted water. And it's supposed to get them to spit out their sand. Not really sure if it really works, but. That's how you get started. You get that done. And uh, also what we have here, we're gonna, we're gonna use a little bit of uh, squid, but just the tentacles, not the body. And uh, we have minced clams along with whole baby clams. Parsley, that's gonna get done uh, last, but uh, garlic, big one here. Best way to get the garlic out, just pound on a little bit. I'm gonna use about three or four cloves. I'm making this for about four people. Uh, normally I'm making for 13 in the firehouse, but uh, just to scale it down for the show, makes it a little easier. So so we're making for how much right now? Maybe three people, four people? Four people. Okay. Could be four to six people, depending on their appetites. Four firemen uh, would be fed well. That's like feeding like 12 people. Four yeah. Firemen. All right, good. So uh, get your garlic out. You're going to want to just smash it down here. Get rid of the skins. Just do a nice, easy chop on it. Doesn't have to be crazy. It's gonna get the flavor, because when you put it in the pot, it's gonna be with the oil, and the oil's just gonna take that flavor and put it around the whole dish. <laughs> also gonna use uh, two pretty decent sized shallots here. Shallots are just like onions. Um, 
they kind of pack a little bit more flavor. A little smaller, a little more flavor, a little more expensive, which is why this is probably a seven or eight dollar meal. So now you just want to do a nice rough chop with the shallots because they're going to go in first, and uh, that's about good with the shallots. Onto the garlic. Again, same. A little finer than shallots, but you just want to get it nice chopped up so you don't have a you don't want a big piece of garlic when you're sucking down a clam. You know, that's going to get. Well, I kind of like my garlic. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I like clothes. my garlic too, but I don't like to take a whole clove down at once, you know? We got this uh, restaurant up by me called Mama Lombardi's, and they make their Lagunian like, clam sauce, and they don't chop the garlic. They bake it, I guess, a little bit before you go in. All right. Yeah. So nice. like a roasted garlic. So yes. you can, oh. roasted garlic, you can take down a whole, Yeah. you can eat it. But the problem is you eat too much garlic, forget about it. Your stomach just like turns inside out. It's, like it's, it's supposed to be good for you too, yeah, though, it's right? it's supposed to be good. Yeah, for a fit guy like yourself. <laughs> yeah, man. very fit. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be the first thing. That You can almost get your pan started with a little olive oil in the pan. Uh, and then we can move on to, the parsley's gonna be used towards the end, the lemon's gonna be used towards the end. So you could get prepped that now. In the firehouse, we're gonna have a guy prepping that. We're gonna have guys doing everything. Right now, just me and you, we'll, we'll go just, piece by piece. We'll go piece by piece, we'll, yeah? we'll walk through it. Maybe you steps. can walk Maybe through steps. this. We're gonna go to a safety tip right now. When we come back, we'll start cooking everything up and see how everything goes out, all right? All right. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is the exhaust fan. It's for you firefighters out there. While firefighters are inside fighting a job, a job is a fire, of course, or if they're overhauling at the end of a job, overhauling is when we open up the walls and we expose the beams so the fire doesn't reignite, we have to dump some water in there. There's a lot of smoke and debris. We take this fan, we put it in the window, and it sucks all the, all the debris out and all the smoke and that just gives better air for the firefighters to work with. Because when we do overhauling, we usually don't wear our SCBAs, our self-contained breathing apparatuses. So, firefighters, give the brothers some relief. Use the exhaust fan. I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is the exhaust fan. Hi, I'm Chef Joseph Manero with Taste This TV. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Cat's gluten-free products. Now, Cat's gluten-free is not only gluten-free, but it's nut-free, dairy-free, and soy-free as well. So when you're looking for a healthy, alternative, gluten-free snack, Cat's has got you covered. From their powdered donuts all the way to their cherry pie, chocolate muffin, choose Cat's whenever you're choosing the dairy-free and gluten-free. That's enough for Taste This TV. For more information, log on to the website at the bottom of the screen and check out Cats. This is my favorite part. Let's start cooking. All right, so now all the prep is done. We're gonna put the pasta in. Linguini. Take it, I like to break it in half. You want me to karate chop that? I can karate chop that pasta. You can definitely karate chop that pasta. Get yeah. in there. I like to break it in half, and uh, I like to cook it al dente. About eight minutes, maybe seven and a half minutes. And then I like to finish it in the pot, which we'll get to. But as that's going, we're gonna get this going. We have, uh, the shallots gonna go in first, then followed by the garlic. Shallots gonna be in for about three minutes. All Can right. you handle that for me, uh, Ray? I'm gonna put these in. I'm just glad that he has me doing something. Now, you kinda wanna move it around really quick. Just so they don't burn. You got this on a low heat over here. That's gonna go for about three minutes. And while that's going down, we can take the time and just chop the parsley up. The, the parsley's gonna be a rough chop over here. Okay. Just like the firehouse, right? I'm, I'm doling out duties right now. He's doling out duties, all right. Cause he, you know, he, did, he did all the cut in the first half of the show. You know he would be at, at you know, back at the firehouse saying now, man, that guy in the firehouse kitchen, he's a do nothing on the set. While we're doing this, you're gonna keep moving these shallots around. Now, I like to throw in a little uh, clam juice. A little clam juice. Here we and go. And along with the clam juice, some crushed red pepper. Some crushed red pepper. Got it right here. Let's open it up. There you go, sir. And this is getting a little heat. And we're also going to throw a little white wine in there. A little white wine. Absolutely. Uh, Pinot Grigio. This was full possible. before we started, but. Well, you know. It's, you got to taste what you. You get them on the shelf. I got about it. About a cup of wine. Again, we're cooking for four people here. About one cup is probably good. We'll, have this, we'll drink this later. Let's, let's uh, and along with that, we're going to use about half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter, got it right here. All right, uh, maybe it shouldn't be so melted, but it worked out. It will work out. It's going to melt in the pan anyway. So now we're going to let that butter break down a little bit, and then we're going to add our clams. And uh, we're also using our, our uh, calamari. 
Calamari. Calamari. Or as the layman says, calamari. While this butter is is uh, breaking down over here, we can throw all this in. That's our clams, our whole baby clams, our men's clams. Now we're gonna get this, and we're gonna actually put our whole clams in there, and then we're gonna cover it. Need a lid, Ray. All right. I got my lid. Here you go, sir. Thank you, Ray. That shot. All cover right. that. Set it. Forget it. How long we leave it for? Probably about eight minutes. About eight minutes, beautiful. Until they open up. They're ready when it's open up. The sauce is ready to go. And when, when they open, one. they're done. When they open, they're done. While that's cooking up, I got a very, very cool segment. We got Joe Maruzzo. If you don't know who he is, he's an actor and writer. He was Joey Peeps on Sopranos. If you remember, he got capped in the car when he picked up that girl at the party. And he's writing this very, very cool movie called T.O. Poppy. It's going to be airing on HBO. So when we come back, we're going to be making pizza with Joe Maruzzo. All right, we're here with Joe Maruzzo, a.k.a. Joey Peeps from The Sopranos. How are you, Ray? How are you See doing? You. I know you have a project going called... Tio Poppy. Tio Poppy? Yeah, it's been on HBO, uh, and it's doing great. Uh, it was a movie made by a friend of mine named Joey Didio, and uh, we're, uh, we've, we shot the pilot, and we're, uh, we're going to hopefully do a lot of episodes. It's a great show. Family, very, family comedy. Very exciting, yeah. and I was pretty taken back when I got an email from you. Oh yeah. How did you find out about Firehouse? Well, I, I, you know, I love, I love cooking shows. I'm a real, uh, I cook every night, and uh, I saw Ray, Ray's show on TV, and I thought, what a great show. You know, I was really, really great excited show. about it. Yeah. Great. Good looking show. guy. You know, so I got in touch with him, and I said, listen, I'd love to come on and make some pizza. And pizza. I, I said, Joe, I said you can come on my show anytime, and. Luckily, I was filming in Friends of Firefighters, and I said, you know what, I'm making a segment for Joe, Joe Maruzzo. It's great, I really thank you. It's a great organization here. And we are Proud making to be here. pizza. Look, pizza. What, what do we do first? Okay, so basically, you know, everyone's afraid of cooking, but it's really simple. It's like anything else. You just gotta do it over and over and over again. But start off with like marinara sauce, which basically, you take cans of whole tomato, two cans of whole tomato, but do me a favor, mm -hmm. pop some garlic for me, Pop some you? garlics. Okay, do you have I'm olive oil? I got some olive oil, let me grab my olive I oil. I know right it's here. somewhere. I love All right. the olive oil. I'm gonna put some olive oil in a frying pan right here, which, let's get it on. Okay, so basically, up. I like to put a lot of olive oil in the frying pan, put that on high, and then Ray's gonna pop some garlic in there. I will pop some garlic. And ba basically, you know, cooking is very simple, you know? I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. You chop it up, you break it up, and you throw it in. Well, I know it doesn't have to be perfect. Especially for a fireman, Especially right? for a fireman. It's just, it just has to be edible. That's All right. about it. But so, it's got to taste good. There you go. So, uh, Joe, how did you get into acting and oh, writing? Gosh, I mean, I started acting 30, 30 years ago. You know, I was, uh, my father was a bricklayer, and I was working for him. And uh, I went to, I wasn't very good in high school, and, uh, one day I wanted to get out of English class because I couldn't read, and it said drama, acting. And I said, wait a minute, if I, if, if I can get out of reading, I'll take that. <laughs> and the true story is, I did an improvisation my first day of class, and after the improvisation was over, I was looking up at the ceiling, and the word home descended on me, I swear, to, I swear. I ran to the guidance counselor, I said, do you know of any schools? She said, Purchase, which Edie Falco went to Purchase. I auditioned for Purchase, I got in, and that started my career. That's okay. Mrs. Soprano, that's Nurse, Nurse Jack. Okay, so I hear, and I hear and smell the garlic happening. A little more. A little more, because we like a lot of garlic. All right. And so basically, cans of whole tomato, right in. Ah, you hear that? Beautiful. Wow, look at that fire, I love it. Okay. Should I chop up some onion while... Uh, no, you know what you do? Give me a little salt and pepper to throw salt in this. Salt and pepper, here you go. I'll lower the flame just a little bit. I love it. Nelson, the Italian way, give me a hand. Don't oh, you gotta put a little in there? Much. Oh, yeah. A little over here. Over there. Oh. Okay, I got it. Salt and pepper is very important in everything. I'm everything. learning. I'm learning okay. the Italian ways. So let that cook. That can You can make sauce raw, actually. You know? My mother taught me that. It's basically a raw sauce is terrific with pasta and everything like that. With pizza, you don't want to put too many ingredients in the in the marinara mm. because you want to keep it simple. So that's perfect. That'll take 10 minutes. And you want to crush the whole tomatoes. Do you have a crusher? Probably. I do have a crusher. We can go crush We crazy. can crush later? Yeah, we'll in crush the backyard? later. We'll crush later. All right, okay. It works. So, okay, so now, as that's going, I'm going to start with the... Give me a little flour there, please, A little Ray. flour. Okay. Uh-oh. So the dough. Here's the dough. dough crazy. Look at that. There's yeah, nice yeah. yeast dough here. You smell it? Give it a smell. Wow. Oh, nice. good. I made that Very last nice. night. So basically with dough is you just take flour, put it in a big, 
something like this, a bowl like this, and I take dry yeast, two packets of dry yeast, pop it in, mix it with my hands. That's all right, he's been hit That's a right. couple That's all right, he's knocked all the wine from this. So, you, uh, you mix the flour and the yeast, salt and pepper, and then you take cold water, put it in, and the consistency you'll feel. You don't want to make it too wet, but you want, and it's gooey, and it's messy, and that's wonderful. And you just keep that in here, put a lid on it, and overnight that thing will rise up, and you wake up in the morning, you'll have a wonderful dough, which I made last night. And you can make a couple pizzas from that, right? Well, I, I, I break it up into five, six different pizzas, I put it in the freezer. You put it in the freezer, you take that dough out, it, it thaws immediately. Wow. Okay, so here's the dough. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so. You don't want to do too much with this with your hands because you don't want to flatten. You want the yeast to give it a nice, look at that. Oh, I love this. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then, what, you want to get your hands in there? Not my hands in there. Right? Sure, go ahead. Learn this. We actually made a pizza. Not too much now. It's firefighter Rapoli. And he's told me I was doing a really good job at it. I could tell I wasn't doing a good job. Oh, you're he doing did good. it amazing. For an Irishman, you're doing great. Doing okay, great this, is, this is great. <laughs> look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of a pizza. Okay, so you well, got that going. Could you put a little olive oil in there for me it. in that frying pan? And Don't I'll be see. afraid. Use your hands. Just Use my hands around. already dirty, Go ahead. so I'm moving around. Rub it around. This will this will give the bottom a nice crispy texture. That's perfect. Love That's it. perfect. And like this. Sides. I'm gonna let Ray make this pizza. Now look at this. You I'm just very excited. If you're watching this, it's nice. It doesn't have to be perfect. Look at that. This is gonna be gorgeous. Well, this is Firehouse Kitchen. It's gotta be. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Okay, Ray. Would you put some uh, mozzarella around there? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little salt, okay. just to salten this up a little bit. I would use a little oregano if you have, but that's okay, we don't have to use that. Good, All right, put here we that go. in. Look at that. Wow, magic. Little pepper, keep it going. Can you see that camera? Can you see that? Oh yeah, Good. I can see it. I love it. I like a little cheese, you know what? Terrific. I'll put a lot of cheese That's beautiful. That boy. Ray, uh, let's hold this a second. Okay, so that marinara, is done. I yeah. pre-made it here, which is wonderful. I don't like to make it too wet, because you don't want to make your pizza too wet. You know what I mean? So you no. like the chunks. So I go in with my hand, and I just I like drop. dry pizza. I don't... Look at this. Is that pretty? <laughs> that is beautiful. Watch what's going to happen. See, this isn't about, if you go to Naples and all that stuff, which I haven't been to, <laughs> but I've seen it on TV. <laughs> These you, guys, they use been, their You haven't been back to your homeland yet? No, I haven't. I was born in Brooklyn. That's right. Italian enough for me. No, that I'm, is, I'm that's... kidding around. That's like, that's like living in Naples. Okay. What, what part of Brooklyn did you That's beautiful. In? I was born in Canarsie. Okay. Moved to Long Island, Ronkonkwa. You know about the island, don't you? I know about the island. Okay. I'm, I'm known as a leaf raker. Give me a little, the... why don't you break up a little garlic for me? Break up a little more garlic? Yeah, just, I mean, no, break up a little uh, onion? Uh, onion. Okay. So I'll cut a little onion. I'll make some chops. No, 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 we don't want to chop. We want you to want chop? No. You want to fold? This is what we want. Pieces. Look Watch. at this. Simple, simple. That's all right. A little fell there. Give me a little more. All right. This looks like That's me good. making That's pizza. good. That's right. good. It's just all over the place. I'm really, you know? Ray, I got to tell you, I think it's great what you're doing. I, 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 I love cooking. I think cooking brings people together. Mm -hmm. It's a family thing. You know, it calms me down because I'm a writer and I'm an actor. I just love to cook. It's the thing that I do. All right, Rami, would you give me a little basil? Please? A little basil? Now, am I just on there? putting the leaves just, right yeah, on? Let it drop. It's not perfect. Yeah, yeah giant beautiful. onions, giant basil. That's good, right there. Joey and Peeps does it. Do me a favor. Old just school. Just chop up a little uh, mushroom. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. Oh, I got some good. Okay, give me that mushroom. Don't worry. I chop up. I chop mushrooms. Put the best of them. I bet you do. All right. Is your wife watching the show? My wife is gonna watch the show, and then she's gonna be like atrocious. <laughs> to, you know. All right. This is good. This is it. All a right. little more salt, which I like to flavor everything. The salt flavors everything. A little more pepper. And, and into the oven. Oven 500 degrees. 500. For how long? Let's see. I'd say this will be done in 14 minutes. Four. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, pretty accurate. That's the number I'm throwing at you, baby. All right. So uh, let's let that cook. We'll come right back and we'll eat some pizza. I'm going to speak a little Italian now. Oh, whoa. Oh. This looks delicioso. Oh, boy. Is that good? Is that you good? You say Italian? mozzarella instead of mozzarella. Ma it's mozzarella. My wife is Italian. All right. Okay. My my wife's maiden name is Sino. And I got this whole thing, I used to call it cal a calamari. Now it's calamari. Calamari. Ricotta. Mozzarella. Ricotta. I, I told my wife's father, who's super Italian, uh, Anthony's been on the show, I said, the reason why you guys speak like that is because you guys can't read. So 
you looked at calamari and you're like, oh. calamari. And you can't read, huh? I'm just joking. All right, try the pizza. All right, good. Come on. All right, I'm going to try the pizza. How's it look? It looks delicious. All right. I like it very nice. I like the big crush. My wife reads better than me. My kids are the mix, Italian-Irish. I don't know how my kids are so smart. See how that, at least you have that dough, right? Look at this. That is unbelievable. Look at the space in that dough. Right here. I love it. I am going okay, to get into it. tasting this. Mm, nice. Look at that. See the way it holds? Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Mazzaro. Maruzzo. That's right, Maruzzo. <laughs> and he's talking no, about the Italians. No, this is a funny joke. I'm terrible with names, especially Italian names. I'm surprised you can see my wife's maiden name. But... Uh, Catapano, Tony, uh, I'm never going to go for Pete's last name, he's going to kill me. But whenever I say these Italian names on camera, I got, they got to say it to me like 20 times before. And, uh, and you said I should do like a blooper reel at the end of the yeah, show. Yeah, you should put your We well, might do that, a little at blooper the end of the reel. Show. Then nobody will watch me. This, like, is, this is one of the best terrible. pizzas I've ever made. This is terrific. This is delicious. Enjoy. Mmm. 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 We're going to get back to John from 101. We're making some. Delicious. Linguine and clam sauce. But Joe, thank you so much for hey, coming man, on. Hey, man, it was a pleasure. I'm going to look out, I'm gonna look out for uh, the T.O. Pape. T.O. Pape. And uh, let's get back to John making linguine. Well, that was very cool, that whole little segment with Joey. Uh, I think that show T.O. Pape is going to be a very, very cool Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Very, very cool. All right, so what's next? Okay, now we're going to check on the clams, make sure that they're open. We got open clams. We're good. Take the clams. I'm gonna move them into this bowl for now. I'm gonna put this pot right back on this heat. So I saved some of the pasta water. So what's gonna happen now? These clams are just gonna sit here on the side. Uh, I'm gonna throw the pasta back into this pan. It's gonna be cooking while it goes. That's why it was a little al dente. You got a little butter for you? A little butter for me? There you go. All right, we're gonna drop that right in there. A little more flavor. You can't have enough butter in the firehouse. You know what, that pasta's sticking together. Uh, and the pasta, we're gonna stir the, the pasta around and use a little bit of this pasta water that I saved before we strained it out. While that's cooking around, we also wanna throw some parsley in there, All right? Could you help me out? Parsley, I got it for you. A little chopped. A little chopped, and this is only gonna go in here maybe about two minutes, guys. Two minutes, you're gonna toss it around. We just want that butter to melt, coat, and then kind of finish cooking the pasta. The more, the less al dente it is, the less time you want it in this pan. So as this is cooking around, we're gonna take it. Also like to throw a little salt in there. Yeah, I'll give you a little in your hand, the old All Italian right. way. The Italian nice Tony, pinch. Tony Capitano showed up. <laughs> Catapano, Catapano. He got it, he got I it. I almost messed it, I did mess it up. All Tony's right. gonna give me a So a nice good. pinch of salt, just to the last. And then we're gonna throw the clams back in this pot on top of that and cut the heat. And then this is ready to go. That's ready to go, throw them in. Yeah, throw them right in. Okay, just dump the clams in. Then we're gonna take the heat off that. We don't want any more heat. That spaghetti is cooked enough. Uh, and right before we serve this, we're just gonna chop up a lemon. Last thing, because this uh, lemon kind of brings out the flavor of the clams. Just uh, serve some nice wedges sure with it. that parsley all over it. It gives us such a nice look. And, yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> it's a nice looking dish. We'll clean it up. We'll make this all look really nice. We'll plate it and we'll eat. While we Absolutely. do that, I will go to a fire fact and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is the pull-down hook. I'm here at the Nassau County Fire Museum, and on the wall behind me is a pull-down hook. See that giant hook with the chain? We would take that hook and we'd put it in a chimney or in a wall that we thought that might collapse, and we'd pull it down, okay? Keep firefighters safe, keep people safe. I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is the pull-down hook. For generations, our family has perfected authentic Mexican dishes from seasoned chicken and beef to carnitas, arroz, and barbacoa. The Cardenas family has always followed the traditions of their ancestors when it comes to cooking. From the beginning, they've created authentic Mexican dishes from scratch using recipes that have been passed down and perfected over generations. This tradition of gathering around a great meal with family and friends is what their Rio Foods strives to pass on. From our family to yours. I must say, presentation is you got an A plus. A plus, right. John. You know, most of, most of the time at a firehouse, you can just slap it on there. But look at this. This looks like a treasure. An 
and I can't wait to taste and sometimes it. Sometimes, uh, you know, a good looking meal can make up for a bad taste in one, you know? Yes, all right. It's, it's bad if it's really good looking and it tastes really bad. So, But you can have a bad looking meal and it can taste delicious. So yeah, that's very good. true. All right, let's taste. How do they do, right? You all did right? pretty good. This is almost as good as the drink you made me. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. John, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Right. It's a, a pleasure, man. A I enjoy myself, man. You do a lot of good here down at Friends of Firefighters. You know, you guys are right down the block, 202-101, firehousekitchenshow.com. You can even go there if you want to come on the show, if you're a fire department, or if you want to get some of our recipes. I know we're going to have this unbelievable linguine dish up there. All right. All right. From All right. 101. And uh, we'll see you next time on... Firehouse Kitchen. All right. Now I'm going to eat some uh, linguine. I'm gonna dip my bread in it and I'm gonna really enjoy this dish. Bread's necessary, right? Bread is always necessary. Very nice. Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is provided by RW Prime, good times, great steaks. Best Market, your neighborhood's first choice. Riverhead Bay Motors, specializing in Subaru and Volkswagen. Shallon Self-Defense Center, classes for men, women, and children, kick with the best. Fire News, serving heroes since 1973. Gentle Dental, located in Eastport, New York. Rene Dumang, fine jewelry located in East Islip, New York. DiCarlo Food Service, servicing the food industry since 1963, located in Farmingville, New York. And firefightersfashions.com, the swag of firefighters apparel. Now you can enjoy Firehouse Kitchen at your own leisure with Firehouse Kitchen DVDs. Rewatch your favorite recipes and stories with this DVD collection. 